Hey everyone, this is Max from Unsubscribed Healthcare. I wanted to go over the use of the function ifs. What I mean by function is that when you go into Excel, you can press equals, and if I start typing in ifs, you can see it allows me to choose this function. Google Sheets has many functions available for you to use, and you can see that there's all these different types of if type things. If error, dated if, count if, sum if. Today we're going to go over ifs. Ifs is really helpful for uh, formula formatting things the way that you need them to be or calculating them when you need them to be. On my newest outcome measure sheet, what I've done is I've used ifs to read the cell B1. So if B1 is equal to I2, then I want it to do something. So you can see that here. The condition is if B1 equals I2, I want it to get the value of B42. And so what that is doing is it's taking the conditions that I've set, and then it will get the value of the dash score once it has been filled out. It's really useful to do that for all of these. That way, if I change any of my outcome measures, it will change the values that it's looking for as well. So you can see here if B1 equals O2, so we come over here and we can see O2 is the quick dash, then it will grab the value of B21. So we come down here and we can see B21, and it will get the value of that. So that's a little bit about ifs. Um, the only problem that I find with ifs is that when you are using ifs, you can get an error. If it doesn't equal one of these things, then it will come up as an error and say, you know, not available. So if you're getting errors, you can always use if and if error. You can use multiple functions in one cell. So if we do if, we'll change the lettering to black. So if we go equals ifs, and then we do b1 equals dash, then, you know, we can just get the value of this cell. And then if b1 equals this, we'll get the value of this one. And then we'll press enter. All right, so you can see that it equals that one. But if I delete this, now it's going to have an NA, no match, right? To get rid of that, you can also add in if error and then go to the end, press comma. I do quotation marks because that will make the cell blink. If we click enter now, you can see that that if error goes away, right? And so you can see here it says no match. So to again change that, what we can do is the if error Go to the very end, press comma, and then you can see here Google Sheets is telling you, okay, if this value comes up as an error, then value if error. So we just want it to be blank, so we'll just do that, and now you can see that little red button goes away. All right, I hope that's helpful. This is a little bit about ifs. Let me know if you have any questions, and as always, remember to subscribe to Unsubscribed Healthcare for more helpful videos.